Ladies and gentlemen of the media, good afternoon. My apology uh, for my late arrival. <clears throat> I'm sorry to keep you waiting. I, um, I wanted to address the media this afternoon uh, about the incident that happened at the Central Police Station at Totong earlier today. <clears throat> The suspect, a 33-year-old self-employed male, <clears throat> threw a, a lead bottle filled with uh, flammable liquid into the charge room at the central police station. And in his attempt to throw another bottle, he was apprehended by the police. <clears throat> the suspect is uh, currently admitted to the Colonial War Memorial Hospital receiving treatment for burns. He remains under police guard and upon his recovery, he will be taken back into custody. Firstly, we wish to emphasize that this incident is an isolated one. We urge the public to remain calm and confident in our commitment to maintaining peace and security. The alleged attempt to attack a key security facility represents not only a direct threat to our security forces, but also to the peace and security that we all hold dear in our nation. The Criminal Investigation Department is leading the investigation into this incident, and we pledge to keep the public informed as further developments arise. Our utmost priority is the safety and security of all of our people. We commend the quick response and the vigilance of our police officers who managed to apprehend the suspect swiftly and prevented what could have been a much more worse situation. The area surrounding the Totongo police station was promptly cordoned, cordoned off to ensure the safety of the general public and to allow for a thorough police investigation. Such acts of violence and attempts to disrupt the police have no place in our society. We remain steadfast in our commitment to ensuring that Fiji remains a safe and security haven for all of its citizens and all of our residents and our visitors. Our security forces are always on alert and we will not allow the actions of one individual to intimidate or deter us from our duty to looking after the safety and the security of our people. We urge everyone to remain calm and trust in the systems and processes we have in place. We also ask that everyone refrains from speculating or spreading unverified information which might lead to unnecessary panic or misinformation. Together, as one United Nation, we shall overcome such challenges and continue to strive for a prosperous, secure, and harmonious Fiji. Thank you. Thank you for the questions. Uh, police have been trained to detain persons that come into our you know, to attack a police property and uh, like the incident that happened this morning you know you can have SOPs that guide us on all these situations but situation as such common sense comes into play how we deal with just to stop the person in uh, you know causing providing you causing more harm into the facilities of the police or to himself yeah as I've stated police have tried his best to capture this person and we are glad the member of the public that was there who assisted the police in capturing this man. But uh, the stomping and the alleged assault that has taken place, yeah. we will do our investigation yeah. in that line. I think uh, there's a video circulating, I believe. Uh, people will draw their conclusions. I think it's important to note that um, this is a, um, well, it's peculiar, it's unfortunate also, and uh, it's not. It's not something that happens every day. It takes a bit of a, you know, with all of your training to try and subdue it because it's not easy. 
and I commend, uh, as I said, commend the police officers who, obviously, the video is there and people, you know, are sharing their own opinions on it, about it. And uh, we have police professional standards that we look at that, and the commissioner has assured me that uh, that is going to be uh, the actions of the police also, uh, which, you know, I commend, and that they acted swiftly to, to subdue it. Uh, you know, uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know, were as professionals as they could be, given the peculiarity, I would say, right now, of the situation and when it happened. I'm, I'm informed that it's... Uh, there was no uh, injury to any police officer or any bystander. The only person that suffered some harm was the person, was the, you know, the alleged uh, person, the person that was alleged to have done it, and he suffered some minor burns. I think I, um, right now we, uh, <clears throat> the police are continuing their investigations and a, a lot of what we, you know, I yet to know will come out of that investigation and what exactly transpired. Eh? Uh, much of what you see is what you already know. Right? It's been captured. So people uh, uh, are seeing that already. But there are also other things that still need to be checked. And somebody asked about motive. Well, right now, as I said, this is quite isolated. It's an isolated incident, you know. Um, Obviously, to get from where he lives to here, he would have planned his way to get there, and you know, it's not it's not the easiest thing to do to walk straight into a police station and throw a lit bottle with. So there's some definite part of you know some general intention to do it. But uh, about plans, that's police work to find out. You know, if others were involved or anything. Well, see, the police station, central police station, is an open area. Everybody goes there to, you know, it's not some place where you constrict people to come. Obviously, he's come, and it's part of the job for police officers that they will always be under, you know, conditions of harm. And today, unfortunately, it happened. But we thank God nobody got hurt. And, uh, you know, and I, I must uh, note, you know, and commend the police for their actions in terms of, you know, only doing whatever is necessary to subdue the person without him causing any other harm to anybody. Actions to take place. Nobody says in advance that they would do it. It's a fine it's a fine line and a balancing act to try and secure yourself in, as well as trying to secure the people who you provide for. So I mean we're in the we are the disciplined service. You know, we the police force is a force. Obviously certain things like this will be expected and Police officers are trained to deal with it, particularly when it uh, when the threat are to themselves in person, and, uh, and how to handle it, you know, the best, perhaps the most professional manner. So uh, we're living in the world, you know. And I said, as long as Satan is here, these kind of things are going to happen. So uh, we just have to be good people, and we trust on the goodwill of our people, you know, uh, to look after our country. Your government is committed, you know. We are all committed into looking after each other. Obviously, you know, we have people who have their own intentions like this one. But, you know, um, you've got to hear his case out too. That's, that's, the, that's the law, you know. You've got to give him the benefit of the doubt where it ever it is deserved. And the investigations have to be fair. You know? And the whole idea is to keep the people safe and then to try as much as we can to prevent this from happening in the future. Thank you. Thank you.